Hello there. How are you? I'm Mo. Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you Mother's newest addition to our palette collection. This is the Rose Decadence Eyeshadow Palette. We have a total of six shadows. We do also have new lip products. Today, I'm going to share with you two looks. We're going to do swatches. We're going to talk. And of course, at the end, I will be doing some swatch comparisons for you. So, let's go ahead and get started. So this particular palette, when I received it, I noticed that it did not come with any outer packaging. It simply had a little sticker to keep it sealed shut. And my package did not include any noodles. I know it's a simple little thing, but I thought it was worth mentioning because I and I actually had to ask a couple of friends. I was like, hey, when you got your Pat Morath stuff, did it come with the noodles and did it come with the box? I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to make sure. Palette is a combination of mattes, shimmers, and duo chromes. mind that swatches never tell the full story they just let you know what you got to expect starting off with this shade here pink champagne going into the next shade peach dusk this one is matte this is gonna make one pretty blush Fuchsia Flame. Ooh, Fuchsia Flame has a little shift to her. Hedonistic Rose. She's a matte. This is going to be a beautiful blush as well. Scandalous. This one feels like a shimmer, but there is a little, is there a shift? No, this I think is just a shimmer. It's golden honey. Wow. So here they all are. I think it's a beautiful color story. Today, to keep it in true mother fashion, I'm gonna be using my Pat McGrath Concealer as my eyeshadow primer for today. Just setting my lids with my La Prairie powder. It's a translucent powder. I'm going in with my BK Beauty 201 brush. This is from the Brit Clark Basics brush set. I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is Peach Dusk, and we're just gonna start off with that. Blend her in the crease. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Hang on a second. So just blending that peach dusk shade as our first transitional color. BK Beauty 202 brush. I'm gonna go into Hedonistic Rouge. I'm gonna put that directly in my crease and my outer V. You know I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take my finger <laughs> and go into Fuchsia Flame. That's the name right now, Fuchsia Flame. We're gonna put that on the lid. Wow. I'm 
Once I approach the crease area, I begin to pat because that helps give a nicer blend to the shadows and to what I've already placed. <laughs> it's so pretty. BK Beauty 207, I'm gonna go into Honey, Golden Honey here. I'm gonna apply that as my inner tear duct color. Just bringing it on to the front portion of my lid just a little bit. Working with pad shadows, it's so easy. You can come up with looks so quickly, effortless work-wise. Yeah. <laughs> I just cleaned off that brush, the 207, the one that we use for the inner tear duct color. I'm gonna go back into Hedonistic Rose and intensify my outer V. And then going in with the 202 to softly blend. Oh, that's pretty. Super pretty. Going into the Hedonistic Rose shade, and we're gonna start off with that. I'm gonna start lightly with that one because it's a lot darker of a color. I'm gonna blend that as transition crease color. Just slowly building it to my desired intensity. Think about that's pretty good, yeah. Going in with that BK Beauty 202 brush and I'm gonna go into Peach Dusk with it. And I'm going to build that shade up on my lid. And because I am me, I'm going to go in with my finger in that shade and apply it to the lid. Back in with my BK Beauty 202 Hedonistic Rose. We're going to intensify the crease and outer V. BK Beauty 207, we're going to go into pink champagne and put that as the inner tear duct highlight. So we rather quickly created two looks. I have one that I would say is a little more glam and the other definitely a lot more wearable, softer. I'm going to go ahead and apply my base makeup. I'm going to be using my Pat McGrath foundation, Pat McGrath concealer, Pat McGrath powder, <laughs> and all the other products will be listed down below. And then I'll come back and we'll apply some of these as blush and highlight, and then we'll finish up the look. And I did go in with just a little bit of bronzer, and that's it. I'm gonna go into the shade Peach Dusk on my more softer eye side. I'm gonna be using my Wayne Gloss number 14. Pretty. I'm going in with a BK Beauty 201 and let's go in to let's go into the pink champagne shade and apply that as highlight on this side. And then I'm just going back in with my blush brush kind of meld, stamp everyone together so there's no harshness. I am gonna finish my uh, lower lash line, but I wanted to finish my face. So I cleaned off that Wayne Gloss number 14. I'm gonna go into the Hodonistic Rose shade and apply that on the more dramatic side as blush. Oh, that's a lot. Let's tap that off. I'm going to mix pink champagne with golden honey on my Wayne Goss airbrush and we'll use that as highlight on this side. It's 
So, whoop. So a little bit of that, a little tiny bit of that, just a little back and forth. Knock off the excess and let's see what we have created. Oh, very pretty. All right. So for this, uh, let me get the names. <laughs> so for this side, for highlight, we mixed pink champagne with golden honey and we use hedonistic rose as our blush. And then on this side, we used pink champagne as our highlight and peach dusk as our blush. Let me just finish up the lower lash line on these eyes. For the more dramatic eye, I wanna go into Scandalous and I'm gonna be using my BK Beauty 207 brush. Going into this shade right here. Any ideas? Hmm. That's pretty. <laughs> Cleaned off that 207 because we're gonna use it again for this eye. I'm gonna go into Peach Dusk first and then I'm gonna go into Hedonistic Rose. I will I will get that right, I promise. <laughs> and, and then I'll apply that as well. So I'm gonna start off with this shade. One closer the beginning portion and then going into the darker hedonistic rose shade for the outer portion here I'm now going to go into my Pat McGrath Black Coffee Eyeliner. It's just a nice, rich brown. I'm going to put that in the waterline. A little tad bit of tight lining as well. And here we are. I'm going to apply mascara and lashes, and I'll be right back so we can try on the lip. Not having any liner, I'm going to try to put this on as close to... Wait, I didn't even put on mascara. Oh, my God. Okay, here we are with lashes, liner, mascara on the eyes. Now I just put my lashes on with no liner, so if it's not perfect, <laughs> you know why. <laughs> but here we have two different looks. I want to say this one is my softer, easier wearing, and then this one is a va va boom bring up the drama. Now I used I used my Chantecaille on my upper lashes and my Gucci mascara on my lower. So let's go ahead and apply the Lip Fetish Divinely Lip Shine. This one is in the shade Nude of Venus. Oh, she's pretty. I, I do have my Marc Jacobs lip oil applied. I'm going to go ahead and just remove that. This is my BK Beauty 101 brush. This is what I use for my foundation. Give you a quick swatch of this. That is one swipe. Let's see if we can build it up a little bit. These are my type of lip products. Sheer, moisturizing, comfortable, everyday grab and go kind of wearable. Ooh, okay, here it goes. So this is Nude Venus Applied. It is just like her other balmy lipsticks, that very nourishing kind of formula. It feels really nice. So here's our finished look with the palette on the eyes and the face and the new Divinely Lip Shines. <laughs> So now that we have applied the shadows and created 
two looks. Let's go ahead and do some swatch comparisons to some palettes that I pulled from my collection that I think are worth comparing. So let me zoom you back in and let's see what we find. I do want to say that if you would like to see some more swatch comparisons, because I like swatch comparisons, <laughs> I'm going to link Alicia of Kinky Sweats video because your girl did a great job. So what I'll do is I'll go in order of each shade and pull what I feel is worth comparing so that we stay organized and it doesn't get all over the place because I know, I know sometimes I get a little all over the place, but that's okay. Let's start off with Pink Champagne and I feel that this shade name describes this color perfectly. It's literally a champagne in pink. La Vie Rose, this shade here, Euphoria. Let's see how that compares. It's thundering, raining, and my dogs are being crazy, so pardon. All right, so here is Euphoria. Let's see. These are very similar, but the Euphoria from La Vie and Rose is giving me a peachy kind of shift, but they are quite similar. Pulling out the Dark Galaxy, this was the limited edition um, Star Wars collaboration that she did, this one. I'm going to, I want to see the shade Cosmic, this one right here. This is a shifty kind of shadow, but I want to see, I want to see. Some stuff you got to just do it and get it out your system. It's still in that pink family, but because it's a shifting kind of shade, you can see the difference. This is the Blitz Astral Ritualistic Rose Quad. Let's see what this shade swatch is like. Astral Rose Orchid. <laughs> that shade. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's a shift. Oh. This palette is beautiful. I wish you would bring back those type of quads because they are so beautiful. Do you see that shade? Oh my gosh. We have not found any exact shades, but let's dive into these bad boys because why not? I'm going to go into the first one first. No. Nope. Well, not for the original Divine Rose. I don't see anything that is comparable. So let's go on to Divine Rose 2. Just looking at them together side by side. Let's check out Skin Show Rose Opal. Spoiler alert, this shade right here is one of my favorites. Do you see that divot, that dent? Oh, so beautiful. And this is beautiful as blush. Okay. Back to uh, hey, this one, Skin Show Rose Opal. Yeah, she definitely has a, a lot lighter of an undertone, but these are all in the pink family, but all very different. Peach Dusk, I really like this shade. That's what I have all over my lid. Such a pretty peachy pink color. Divine Rose 2, let's see what we got cooking in here. Um, I want to say, let's, let's see Naked Blush. Because of the colors in this palette, that's probably like the only one I think is worth comparing. All right. Now, the Rose Decadence up top is a richer, pinkier, peachy. It's definitely a stronger, peachy undertone. So, I mean, yes, you can see the similarities, but they are not the same at all, which is good, right? <laughs> so in the Rose Decadence, this is Peach Dusk. In the original Divine Rose, this is Rose Dusk right here. So let's compare. Yeah. This is a much deeper, rosy toned shade. 
all in this, they're, they're in the same family, but they're all cousins. <laughs> you know what I mean? Moving on to the shade that I have all over this lid. Oh, so pretty. This is Fuchsia Flame. Fuchsia Flame. I really am enjoying this color. I love the way that it looks. It's so pretty. This has a shifting, let's see if I can catch her on the camera right there. It has like an orangey and then it shifts to a bright fuchsia and you can see the pinks. She's pretty. Dark Galaxy. Saturnalia, which is this shade right here. I feel like just by looking at it, it's pulling a little more red. But let's swatch and see, shall we? Yep. So pretty. This is an eye look right here, like absolutely. Ritualistic Rose. Let's see this shade here, Rose Quartz. That's another shifting. It's raining. My dog is going crazy, so my apologies. Dog moms, you guys understand? <laughs> Ooh, this is an eye look. How pretty. Hedonistic, hedonistic Rose. I am going to be able to say that shade when we're done. I have to. <laughs> There she is. Back into Dark Galaxy. I'm looking at Venomous Void, this shade here. This one's more purple and the one in Rose Decadence is more red, pink, yup. Yeah, definitely more purple. From my Golden Opulence, the shade Prosperity, I feel it's gonna be a little more brown. Because it is. <laughs> yeah. Let's check out Extreme Burgundy from Divine Rose 2. Yeah, she too is a darker purple. Hedonistic Rose, here she is. Go ahead. Let's go into Scandalous. This is such a beautiful color. This is the color that I have applied on my lower lash line on this more bold look. Going into Galactic Gold. Going into this bronze shape. Yeah, it's the same kind of finish and form. Yeah, that's definitely lighter. Let's go into the shade Corruption from that palette. Let's see. Yeah, that's a shifting. This reminds me of Sextro Terrestrial, this shade. Divine Dusk from Divine Rose 2. Yeah, no. I don't have a color like that in one of these, do I? Well, let's see the Beyond Bronzed. Let's see. Yeah, no. Wow. I couldn't even find anything comparable to this shade from my collection. So that is exciting. All right, last one, yay. I feel like Pat always puts in a gold shadow in her palettes, but then they all turn out to be really different. So this one is the Golden Honey. So our last swatch comparison is going to be Gold Honey. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. Bronze Rose 005, and then Gold Lust 001. Yeah, new. <laughs> Very different. All in the gold family. Swiping off my swatches. All in the gold family, but I feel like this one from Rose Decadence is a bronzy gold, which makes it even more beautiful and that is what I'm wearing on my inner for that eye look. This is the Galactic Gold palette so Galactic Gold and then this one is Gold Standard. See? Mother can give us like 25 different golds and they'll all be different. <laughs> Similar maybe but different yes. Let's see Sable Bronze from the original Divine Rose. Maybe. 
And then let's also do refined gold from the original Divine Rose. Let's see. So of the ones that I've swatched so far, I want to say the Refine Gold 002. Yeah. Hmm. Like I said, Mother can give us a ton of golds and they'll all be very different, but similar-ish. They're all so beautiful, aren't they? Nice little swatch comparison party, didn't we? <laughs> I hope that you guys found it helpful. If you have these, this is a great compliment. If you don't have these, this is beautiful all on its own. This is beautiful, period. <laughs> Listen, we love Mother and all of the extraness that she puts into her palettes. This is just a cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure, a mirror, very simple, very realistic, very easy very beautiful good quality totally worth your money you're getting a high quality product with this but honestly nothing compares to all of the packaging that goes into a mothership nothing compares <laughs> this is a whole experience what I like is that you can go in and make a soft smoky eye with this palette you can have a nice, soft, wearable look with this palette. You can get super bold with this palette. You have options with this palette. The shadows performed like we've come to expect from Mother. Very high quality. Oh my god, it's thundering like crazy. Sorry. You're going to hear it. Hear the rumbling? Ooh. Let me hurry and finish this up. Now, as far as the Divinely Lip Shines, these are very comfortable. You're not... It's kind of like a no-fuss type of product. Beautiful packaging. Very moisturizing, hydrating. Now, I have been wearing this for a while. I did go and get a whole cup of coffee. As you can see, we're pretty much done. <laughs> so, she does wear really well, and it is really comfortable. And This is something easy that you can carry with you, need be to apply. I know I went with a more nude shade. They do have other really beautiful shades that I'm very interested in now that I have this one. But these are really nice. I'd like to hear what you guys are thinking about the new Pat McGrath Rose Decadence Eyeshadow Palette and the lip products as well. Comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And let me know what you think about today's look. Which was your favorite? I like them both. <laughs> I feel like two different moods. Super glam. Hi. Oh, hey. I'm just at Target being cute. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for letting me share these goodies with you. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I will see you very soon. Bye.